What's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the damage calculation in Shadowgun Legends. How is damage calculated? How is the crit damage applied? And uh, crit multipliers and everything, how the damage stack. So this video is all about numbers. If you don't like numbers too much, you can just skip that one because you're gonna have a headache probably. But anyways, for this video, I decided to start from scratch, from the basics and then work my way up adding damage from equipment and skill tree and stuff to see if everything works so i reset my skill tree and i removed all my gear and i went with a basic weapon from willows 123.2 remember that okay the damage 123.2 uh, zero perks on the rifle and zero perks from my gear or anything else so we start with zero extra numbers to figure out the basic number for the crit damage so i went naked in a mission uh the daily missions you can go naked even if your uh, power is too low they will let you go all right so getting in this mission all the time with two enemies at the start but notice the legs red pads and yellow pads the yellow guys got 10 percent resistance okay so 123 i said the base damage so if i hit the body 123 and if i hit the head 184 okay now we'll kill this guy and go for the other one the base damage instead of 123 will be 110 because he's got 10 percent resistance and we'll talk about it in a, in a second but 166 is the crit damage all right so i'll pause this thing right here so what i did to come up with the basic crit number is uh the relation between uh 123 and the crit on the 123 guy and then 110 to 166. so i figured out the multiplier was 1.5 okay so the base damage if you hit a crit, you hit for 50% uh, more, okay? So instead of 100, you would do 150. And the same thing for the resistance guy. The resistance is applied at the start. 123 minus 10% is minus 12.3, so 110.7, but it shows 110, okay? But the 0.7, it doesn't show, it does not round up, but it's still there in the calculation. So 110.7 times 1.5, is the result that you see here 166 and that's how i came up with the base multiplier so anything you have on your weapon if you crit is going to be multiplied by 1.5 if you have nothing else so for the next part i left everything as is but i added crit boots okay 14 percent crit boots so the same numbers will still be there 123 and 110 but instead of multiplying by 1.5 we'll multiply by 1.64 because 150 plus 14 is 164. So let's see the numbers. All right, so that's the second run with the 14% crit boot. So still 123 to the body, but look at the crit damage to the head, uh, 202. And then I'll kill the guy and do the other one. This is the one with 10% resistance. It's gonna be 110 to the body again, but to the head, uh, it's gonna be 110.7 multiplied by 1.64. And you can verify the numbers. 181 is the result. After that, I unlocked the 5% iron sight damage perk on that auto rifle and went on with no crit damage again on my gear. I removed my crit boots for that and I went there to see how the 5% applied. So you will see the shots to the body 123 and then with the iron sight 129. So uh, 123 multiplied by uh, 1.05 uh, is the result and that's why we come up with that number and same thing for the crit okay now the 110 with the iron sight is 116 now look at the crit damage so 166 and 174 so i did calculate the exact number with the 1.5 as a crit multiplier and 1.05 as the five percent base damage on the iron sight damage now i can add the 14 percent right, crit boots so I get 212 now for the other guy 181 and uh, 190 so let's calculate real quick now I did more tests with more crit and the calculations were always uh, straight flush to the numbers but I decided to go with even bigger numbers now and see if the numbers were right so I added the skill three points I got 12 agility and nothing else so that's 12 percent crit damage right there from the three every point now I did put my crit shoulder that is 27 percent crit on the gloves the body is just uh, hp now the legs i got 15 percent crit and the boots i got 14 percent so if you add the 12 uh, from the skill tree and everything else it adds up to 81 percent so 81 plus the 1.5 from the base crit damage 
is a uh, 2.31 all right so now i decided to go with snipers for big numbers i started with a cryonic scream the base damage is 1179 and i multiply by 2.31 so the base crit damage i should get for the single enemy would be 2723 now on the resistance enemy i did the same calculation 1179 uh and I remove 10%, which is 117.9. So I should do 10 at 61.1 to the body, multiply by 2.31, you know, the crit damage on the second enemy, and you get 2451.1. So 2451 should be the crit on the second enemy, and 2723 to the first enemy. So I calculate before going into the level just to see if my calculations were right. Then I went into the level. Now here's the result. This is the cryonic scream, and uh, I will go for a headshot aiming downside. But I don't have aim downside bonus. I, ha I have zero perks on luck on the cryonic scream except the pickup rate. So 2723 is the number on the first enemy, and the second enemy 2451. So I can pause it. All right, 2451. You see the number. There you go. 2451 exactly, and 2723. You can see at the bottom. Is the number on the first enemy so you just need to know not all enemies have the same resistance that's another thing that's gonna mess up your calculations but i think if you know the enemy resistance you remove it from your base damage and then once your base damage is uh, reduced you add everything else to the reduced damage and then you multiply by the crit which is 1.5 the base and you add everything from your gear from your skill now, i did the same thing with the true patriot once again it's a brand new sniper that I have unlocked zero perks. So 1320 is the base number times 2.31. I should do 3049 to the first guy to the head. Then the second guy, 1320 minus 132, which is 10% resistance. So 1320 minus 132 is 1188, which is the reduced number on the second guy. Multiply by 2.31, which is my total crit damage, and I will get 2744. So Here's the number, 2744 to the second guy and 3049 to the first guy. Let's see the results. So here we go, first guy, 3049 exactly to the head. Now let's see the second guy, All right, second guy, 2744. Let's show the calculator again. 2744 is the, sec is the last number on top and 3049.2 is the number I had just before. So once again, I know um, this kind of video is not for everyone. It's for the nerds. You know, some guys like to figure out everything. And uh, that's my uh, calculation for you guys. I know you guys out there have different numbers. So if you guys have different uh, calculations or different methods, be sure to share with me. I have seen some different stuff out there. But for a start, this is the basics. If you want to know how much damage you would do, you should start with the base number of your weapon and then you add to the base anything that adds to the base damage you add the damage percentage you add the uh, iron sight damage you add the elite damage and everything and then when you have your final number you multiply by your crit 1.5 plus everything else that you have as crit numbers on your gear on your skill tree now if the enemies have resistance it will change everything from the base number okay the resistance goes on your weapon number okay the base damage of your weapon you remove from that and once you have your reduced number now you work from it you add everything to the base number and then you multiply by the crit so the resistance is applied at the start not at the end now this video could be very long i did much more than that but you can see i did try some tests with the gloves i removed my crit glove to add uh, assault rifle damage gloves because if you add damage at the very start before adding all the numbers, the higher your base number is, the more likely you have bigger numbers at the end. If you can add base damage, elite damage or anything like that, more iron sight damage, it's gonna boost your, your initial number, the number you start with. And then if you have a lot of crit, it will multiply a much bigger number. So that's why it's okay to sacrifice some crit sometime to add more base damage that's what i did on my gloves and i had more damage in total so that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed i know it's a bit different from what i'm used to do uh, and i really understand this kind of thing is not for everyone uh, some guys just don't want to know 
but some guys care so so hope it will be useful for some guys out there and once again if you guys have different numbers or if you guys don't agree make sure you share with me in the comments uh, your calculations or whatever you guys have that's it for now guys thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed leave me a comment below don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more shadowgun legends news gameplay and guides i will be back soon until then watch my other videos take care